sharp trim that. <laughs> sharp trim, mate. Do you like my haircut? Your haircut? Yes, mate. It's good. Nice. like it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's really nice. Perfect. That's relieving. This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting, proudly sponsored by Air Up. I'm joined by Tommy Fury. Tommy, it's nice to see you again. Have you been keeping well? Fantastic, mate, if you can't tell. I'm in the best shape of my life, ready to go out there, put on a hell of a performance, get this man out of there, and on to the next. Are you growing so fond of these influencer matchups? Yeah, they're good, aren't they? I mean, my fight, that's all I'm looking at. But the good, how can they not be? Sold out crowds, you know, millions in pay-per-view buys. Everyone's interested, everyone's talking about it, it's exciting, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Mm, certainly. How's the build-up compared to one of the, kind of the Frank Warren shows or the pro boxing shows oh. towards the influencer shows? I guess the build-up is a lot more yeah. a lot more media to do, that's, that's, that's one way to put it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, the Frank Warren shows were good exposure um, for me. Um, you know, boxing on BT Sport live every time against credible, you know, opposition. Um, but these bring a different type of uh, hype around it, don't they? You know, these, you know, I'm the main event. I was the main event last time. So, you know, it's a lot more press, a lot more things to do. But you got to relish in it all. Boxing's a short career. And many people are in this job for their whole life and don't get to reach heights that I've, that I've accomplished. So, at the end of the day, thank you, Lord, amen, for putting me in this position. And I'm ready to go out there again on Saturday and do it. Mm, certainly. Sounds pretty good. Obviously, you fought Jake Paul last time out. That was a very, very big fight back yeah. in Saudi. How does, it kind of, how does the, kind of the boxer Jake Paul compare to the boxer KSI? I think uh, Jake Paul was a much tougher fight. Obviously, I've not fought KSI yet. Um, but, you know, I believe, you know, Jake Paul was just trying to be a bit more of a boxer. Mm -hmm. um, whereas KSI, very gun-ho. You know, I'm not going to give away too much, but he walks in with absolutely no defence and stuff like that. So I think there's a lot more, let's just put it this way, I think there's a lot more opportunities to KO KSI than it was Jake Paul. Mm -hmm. Jake Paul's very cagey, didn't want to let his hands go for a certain reason, he couldn't get out of the way of the jab. Um, but yeah, I feel like Saturday night it's going to be an even better performance, it's going to be a knockout this time. I know it's a better time to ask you after the fight, but right as of right now, do you still rank Jake Paul a lot higher than KSI? Yeah. Why not? Definitely. I mean, uh, I've shared the ring with Jake Paul. You know, I haven't shared the ring with KSI yet, so I guess we'll evaluate that question afterwards. Mm, yeah, certainly. Um, Jake Paul will be here ringside. Yeah. Logan Paul will be here. These are two fights that could possibly be after KSI. Yeah. Is that of interest? Yeah, definitely. Of course it's of interest. I mean, uh, I only look at one fight at a time. KSI is the man in front of me, so he's the one I'm focusing on at the minute. You know, I don't look at anybody else in that arena. As, my, as far as I'm concerned, it's all empty. Um, I'll get KSI out of the way first sit down with the team and see what's next. I know you're predicting a knockout. Last time I went the distance with Jake. Yeah. How come you're so confident in the knockout? I just think there's a lot more, you know, holes in his defence than Jake Paul. You know, I believe he's a bit more gung-ho and doing that, leave yourself open. Mm -hmm. And against an experienced man, more experienced than these guys that he's been fighting anyway, he's not going to be allowed to do that. So um, there's going to be a lot of shocks on Saturday night for KSI. His team have claimed that, obviously, the team and the fans, he's very, very awkward. Is that a worry for you, dealing with an awkward fighter? Can be a bit slippery at times? No, not really. Not really at all. You know, this fight will go however I want it to go. Mm -hmm. I'm the bigger, stronger man in there. I'm going to bully him all the way around. Left ways, sideways, right ways, whatever you want. So, at the end of the day, you can run, but you can't hide. Mm -hmm. We'll bring this up. You started working with Greg, the nutritionist. Yes. Greg's an OG on the channel OG. from the very beginning. How come you started working with Greg and what's that been like? Listen, at the end of the day, for fights of this magnitude, you've got to work with the best in the business. And... Uh, Greg, you know, it's the first time I've worked with him and he truly is that. He's unbelievable, um, always there. He's at, he's at your beck and calls, always asking how you are, constantly ahead of schedule. And that's what I like. Um, it's been an amazing having him part of the team and uh, God willing, you know, he's, he's here for many more fights. Awesome. Tommy, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that's it. it. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. guys.